Um, he's going to be growing constantly. And you've got to think, actually, like, strengths, if he can hit this high accuracy, he's one of the most talented aimers in the world right now. And when you can hit that high accuracy, you know, the rest will have to come later. And that's going to be, you know, how good you are at just dueling. And that's what he's been learning. And I'm sure he's been learning it. So Trance is uh, online. He's connected to the server. <laughs> he didn't mute his microphone on the low-quality stream. All right, here we go. Live and free in your face, Trance. Here we go. Strengths versus Avic. Here at DreamHack, Play Live Tournament, sponsored by Kaspersky. 5,000 euros up for grabs, but you've got to get through your group stages. Both of these two should be through their group, with uh, both having a win over Kilson. So it's just the first and second place. MVC. It was his fault that you could hear Trance. First kill for Avec. Needs some rocket launcher ammo, Avec, and also he's going to have to worry about his LG ammo. He's not got much um, ammo to fight with, and he's actually spamming the LG. Picks up five uh, rocket launcher ammo and also 50 LG, and that will keep him good for the Mega. After this, he's got to worry about strengths coming in and trying to push him off the red. Probably not going to happen. There's uh, a couple of yellows that Strengths needs to get hold of first, and he's got one, and he's going to take the other one. He's got an LG. No rocket for Strengths. He hasn't made his way to the center of the map. He's picking up shards and uh, playing a very defensive game. Doesn't want to like, let Abbott run away of the scoreline too early. And, you know, there's a defensive play from Strengths, and that's going to give him... Ooh, he... nice play from Strengths there, just kind of baiting. And he's going to, like, push in here. This is interesting. The, the spawn times were very similar, but Strengths is going to back away. He's going to take top position now, and uh, he's going to try and stop Avic getting in. So when Avic gets the red and the mega, he is stacked, but Strengths has got 200 armor. So he's actually done, achieved what he needed to do, and now he's got position on map. So he's going to try and stop Avic getting in um, to the center room and, and pushing him off the red. Um, no player really needs red. They just need position. And uh, Strengths has it. Red armor is going to be spawning soon. And he's going to take it. Great play from Strengths. Avic doesn't need the red, and he hasn't taken any damage. As long as he takes the Mega, they are literally, you know, the same as they were 20 seconds ago. Um, Avic, oh, this is dangerous from Avic. And Strengths is going to try and capitalize. Avic pulls out. Our oh, Strengths runs out of LG ammo. One rocket in the second would have probably been a kill had it been a good rocket. Um, and, you know, but he's going to give away another frag. And uh, really risky play from Avic in a way. Strengths, you know, pushed, and he didn't have enough LG ammo. And that would have been, uh, I think, a big factor for him, because his LG was, like, almost, like, perfect. I mean, he's hitting uh, a 50% LG strength. It's one of the highest accuracies we've seen. Avec hitting a 33%. LG versus the rest of Avec. Nice from Strengths, following him at the moment. Just took the red, rocket jumped up to uh, yellow. They're gonna, they are going to meet here. Avec goes aggressive, and he, and the great thing about that, right, is even if you meet each other around the corner and you both shoot a rocket, if you're the guy expecting to meet him, like Avic was, he was the first to react offensively uh, as, as Strengths was, like, surprised, so reacted defensively just, you know, as impulse, and then Avic comes out on top, so 3-0, and, you know, and that's just... That's a really um, psychological kind of game there when, um, you know, Strengths was surprised so didn't, you know, his his actions directly after getting hit were not at all, um, you know, ad you know, good. Well, not good. Not 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 good. I had no idea. I'm too good, by the way. Hi. Let's get back into the game. I think uh, Trap Strength should be an easy kill. Loses a, a little bit of uh, too much health and armor, but let's see if it hurts him as red armor's up. No, it looks like he's going to drop nicely in. Strengths has the LGs, uh, got two yellows, they are even right now, Mega's going to separate them, Strengths isn't going to drop for it, he's going to spam rockets down there though, doesn't hit, he's going to most likely try and take the shards or something, Strengths, but he hears Avec in the shard room, and won't be able to move in, so, Avec got 100 health advantage, and Avec wants this yellow, um, and then, because he denies that yellow, he knows his opponent won't have that 200 armor, uh, but he drops off because he had a red armor time, lucky for Strengths, He's not only just got position, he's got a yellow armor as well. So um, nothing really between these two players when it comes to Mega. Avic's got to be very careful about Strengths putting in an attack here. He could be above him, and I think Avic feels that would probably be the case. But no, Strengths drops down, and Avic guessed correctly. And that's going to really hurt Strengths, but he gets on the Mega, and he gets away. 
Um, wow, what a move. And Avec is her, he's, but so is Strength. But Strength um, does get health. Avec gets the 100 armor. And Strength has got one of the yellows. He's got a good amount of LG ammo. Sly uh, Avec has like hardly any rockets, hardly any LG, and he's taking a lot of damage. Well, not too much, actually. Uh, I lied. Um, but that's okay. He's... Uh, He's definitely still gone in, but he needs to make sure this red armor goes in his favor. If it doesn't, he needs to at least get the mega. So if he can delay the red armor pickup and the mega, I mean, we'll have to see. So Strengths went for red, and he moved around perfectly, and that's a kill that he needed. Great play from Strengths. Um, Avec, you know, I felt that if he, if he had the time on the red and the mega, like like we saw it, he would have tried and delayed um, um, strengths from getting from red to mega. And had he have done that, he would have been easily taking that mega. But he didn't. He just waited for the mega, didn't put pressure on red armor, and then got destroyed because of it. So two frags now back in the favor of strengths after picking up the conversion. And, uh, you know, not having the timing was the uh, fault there of Avec. But again, you know, we know more than they do, so let's not uh, judge, you know. It's like, yeah, we're better than Avec. Stupid Avec. God time items. Red armor for strengths, yellow for Avec. Avec doesn't have an LG yet. He gets himself one now. It's not really an LG fight that Avec wants to pick though with strengths, is it? It's, it's more going to be the rocket, so. Strengths, that's his, that's his worry. I mean, he's like, he's like, yeah, I'm covering center map, but Avex never gonna come in here. He's never gonna try and push you. He's gonna lose lower levels. He's gonna like, you know, TV bait you to towards an armor, and you know, he's gonna try and take you off the map with rockets. And there you go, advantage position. Two good rockets. There comes another one, and Avex drops down, and he's gonna have to hurt here. That's another kill. Took a while though. And red armor's up, so Avic must have had a lot of health and armor um, when he picked that fight. I wasn't really following before, so I'm not sure how much, but Strengths makes it a 4 3. Mega in 5. Avic knows it's roughly up because last time he challenged from above, like when he was coming out, yeah, and he's gonna rush it, he's gonna be punished. Great switch out there. Great LG as well from Strengths. I mean, he's on 40% LG on this map, and he hasn't been easy to LG Avec. He hasn't given you, like, crazy easy shots. I mean, that LG is uh, very, very strong. By the way, I just want to mention, someone stole my chair. I had a really fucking comfy chair, and now I'm on, like, some sort of plastic school chair, and it really hurts. So. Damn, chair thief. I will find you. And I will beat you WWF style with my classic school chair. Or WWE style now, isn't it? I don't know. Who cares? All right, here we go. Mega, this time goes to Avic. So he does actually win back the Mega in a 4-4 game. Yellow armor. Gonna go to Avec and he picked the LG fight and he actually won that massively. Like how how did he win that so by so much? It was like Franks was like, yep, this is what I want, an LG versus LG, and then gets shut down. Mega's gonna be spawning. I think uh Strengths can't challenge, but he's gonna try and get on a rocket launcher. He's a hundred hundred right now, Strengths. Avex uh, 200, 180. Or oh, 180. Oh, Avec, brilliant move, catches Strengths off guard. Doesn't need the kill, just yet. But he looks like he uh, is close to getting it, and once he gets the red, you know, he definitely knows that it, wherever he finds uh, Strengths, he will be in trouble. But he will have to be forced to take that Mega before he goes on a Rampage. So in comes the Mega, and maybe you'll see a Rocket jump up, but either way, he's going to have to just work into center map he probably won't find strength center map um and then he had to go uh, for the red armor and then he's 200 200 so even if it's overtime alex happy here comes the lg fight strength wanted to pick this time this time's going a little bit better for him but not good enough avec too stacked and avec not scared to take that fight when he's got the advantage there comes a 50 health bubble and now strength has got one last chance and Avic has all the weapons he needs. Mega's going to be spawning. And that's going to be a lot of health and armor to get off this uh, Polish player. 
And it looks like a plasma gun is the uh, weapon of choice. And Avic misses an important um, second and fourth rocket. Finally hits the fifth after the first and third. But, you know, that could have been dangerous. As you can see how low he is. But Strange is out on a limb right here. He is uh, really trying to make something just go his way. And he's trying to take luck, you know. As uh, the fact of it, it's not going to happen, and Avex shut him down, and just controlling the map, and Strengths having to do an attack, and, you know, he picked the LG fight Strengths, because he thought that was his, but Avex, I mean, his LG is not shabby whatsoever, he's actually hit one of the highest percent LGs I've seen from him, 36%, um, and so he is going to pick up the game, so big LG, um, I think Strengths was really surprised by the LG work of um, Avex at the top ledge there, like, twice, there was two fights, and it looked like, you know, Avex destroyed the first fight, and then the second fight was definitely even. It wasn't like Strengths out-aimed him. You know, even if he did, it wasn't by much. So Strengths, his, his big advantage card that he likes to play, you know, Avec didn't let him play it. And real credit to Avec there. He's played a lot smarter than uh, sometimes... I wouldn't say... Some, not, it, it didn't, not a lot smarter, but it just looked smart. It just felt like it was playing smart. You know, that slow-paced game, and, and he was like, I know how to overcome my opponent, and it's not by in my normal game style, and I think he, like, did change it up and adapted to strength. Um, this will be strength map, um, T9. Oh, sorry, it was DM13 first, T9 second, and DM6 last. Um, they put numbers by the maps, so I didn't read those. But now I read them. Okay. Here we go. Map 2. 1-0 in favor of Avic. Gets the LG. No uh, mega pickup for Avic yet. Just wants to see if he could uh, push um, Strengths off the rocket launcher. And he did do so. And Strengths was like, should I go rocket launcher? Shall I not? And by the time he got it, he actually missed out on the yellow. So uh, Strengths has the one yellow and shards to work with. And a rocket now in LG. Um, Avic pretty much in a better position. But he jumps into uh, Strengths' LG. And Strengths picks up the kill. 60% lightning gun. And he gets a, uh, a spawn rocket. And now he's only got to worry about Mega. This is his item. Avex doesn't have an LG, I think. Oh, he does have an LG, sorry. And uh, there we go. One rocket, two rocket. And it's a double kill. Who's going to get the spawn? And Avex gets LG. Strengths gets the rocket launcher and the Mega. And he rocket jumps out. Smart play from Strengths. And he's got LG available to him, but he wants the yellow armor. So great play so far in the first minute. Two to one. And anything can happen in this game. These two really, I mean, Strengths is really looking good. I, I mean, we'll have to see if he can take down Avex still. He's uh, a map down, but he looks strong, strong, strong. He's left uh, Mega though. That rocket was pretty bad from Strengths. It was uh, really badly placed. It wouldn't have done no damage to nobody. Even if a fat man was walking up the Mega stairs, that wouldn't have hit him. And Avic's only small. Good play from Strengths. Doesn't hit the third rocket. And the third rocket would have been crucial to getting back in the game. Avec has the advantage still, but here comes an LG fight. Avec's winning this LG fight and pushes him away. And Strengths gets away with one HP, I think it was, and picks up the 50. Uh, Mega's up and Avec, wow. Uh, checking the accuracies now, you know, Strengths has gone from 60 to 42. Avec is on a 23 accuracy, but, you know, really that like, last fight would have been, um, you know, an up on whatever he was spamming before. But Avec still has the frag to make to, if he wants to bring us level. But he doesn't need an LG kill from it. But you can, it's funny if you only see strengths trying to take LG mid level or, you know, rocket launcher corridors. There's the corridor, so he's using rocket launcher. <laughs> when he's in, when he's mid level, he's going to use LG. And, you know, and, and Avec will play to that. And the problem is, is like, strengths can mix it up and surprise him. Because rockets mid level, you know, or center of map is still great if your opponent thinks, you know, you might not do it. Or positions wrongly to defend against rockets um but maybe it's uh, yeah see lg mid-level i'm gonna lg you and then avix like i win and rocket corridor um so i mean i, I feel that like strength is just kind of playing the map and playing his style exactly how avix thinks he's going to and avix ain't scared because he's like well i'm winning the items so 
I'll take your LG and I'll play against you. And you know, LG versus LG is really, unless you've got someone hitting like an overly sick accuracy, will normally always go in favor in the guy with more health and armor. Rockets, on the other hand, can, can spin it for you. Um, but Strange doesn't want to take Rocket to that mid-level, and Avic's never going to commit to a, a dumb Rocket fight in corridors. I mean, right now he rushed in, and he was really heavily stacked. And look at this rush. And just perfect play from Avic. Takes the lead 3-2. to two. And Strengths needs to change it up or something. I mean, I know when Strengths is in control, it's a different story. Um, but... Avec, is, you know, he, he, he knows this. And he's playing it great. Controlling the items, another yellow pickup. I would like to see Strengths, you know... I mean, because Strengths is like, I'm going to take a whole minute to get enough armor to pick an LG fight and then eventually I'm going to lose it, apparently. And Avex always ready for the LG fight. Now that Avex picks the rocket fight, which he knows he will win, so he's happy to take it now in corridors, picks it up and covers the LG and Strengths is just like, what do I do? And, you know, he can't afford to give away many more frags. Nice shotgun blast from Avex there, just shaving a little bit of health off and Strengths has no health um, you know, on the map apart from center, but now I think he's absorbed all health, so this fight would actually be quite good for him. Yeah, that's a, that's a br there's no health on the map now for Avec, and there won't be until pretty much Mega, so that's brilliant. I mean, it almost was good, but Avec was hurling strengths because he ate all the health, and then when Avec was finally hurt, he got the kill, so strengths is, um, happy that Avec was kicking his ass, but right now that was uh, not so much of a good ass kick. As uh, Strengths has been booted away from Mega, and he's in a, a tough situation. Are they going to come in? Strengths hits three rockets. There's a fourth. Everyone was perfect. Six to four. And Avec finally makes a mistake in the rocket corridors. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't say a mistake. It was just, you know, you don't expect someone to hit four perfect rockets. But the thing is, Strengths' first rockets um, halted the, the movement speed of Avec. And by halting the movement speed, the Avec then, um, you know, was very predictable. And every single shot was nicely timed up in sync to the uh, to the rocket reload. So he would jump and then the rocket would reload and he'd fire. So he would always guarantee a hit. But Strengths hasn't been able to capitalize so much off it. He's lost out on another Mega. That's at least two in a row now for Avec. Uh, but he has just been, you know, kind of pinned in at the, uh, the corridors. He has now got out. Finds Avec and finally uses rockets. And look at this. Way better with the rockets here, Strengths. And, you know... When he's got a more even fight, he is really using a different array, array of guns. But when he's at a disadvantage, he looks like he just wants to trade. Just like, let's trade health and armor and see what I can do off the spawn. And because normally he does a lot of damage with the LG. So, Mega for strength. Going to break the Mega cycle that Avic has previously had. Picking up so many in a row. But a one frag difference. And once again, it's the Rockets. There's the LG, and that was not even, that was over 60% that LG. That would have been about an 80% LG versus a strafer, and Avic is just like, what the hell? Like, what can you do versus that? Here comes another one. Not so good, but that would have been about, you know, 40 to 50%. And uh, Strength is just hitting some crazy LG now, and he's, you know, he's still kept his accuracy overall at 40%. So 41% LG, and I think a lot of people can definitely agree that's, um, you know, he can shine with that weapon. Interesting to see if he uh, meets Sturmy again. Or Zamus, sorry. The, the new uh, MVP of uh, day one. I just make up MVPs. It's like, who's MVP? I'm like, mm, this guy. Rockets don't work. And uh, gets the kill. And he's got it in an important time as well with uh, Mega. Strengths is like, mm, oh wow, Strengths. You boss drops down, and Avec must not have had a mega time there, because otherwise I think he could have gotten position and, and caught strength as he was dropping. A little bit of lag, players will have to... Oh, no. That actually worked out okay for both of them. In the sense that Avec played good defense, strength had good offense. Oh, strength is mad now. He's going to say, like, lag. He's, I, oh, table got slammed. There was a table slam. Same time, by the way. Um, they're sat on the same table. So, Avec's... Had it been... Oh, there we go. Of course. Oh, 10 FPS. You need an admin timeout. You have to admin timeout. 17 seconds.
You don't have rights? Well. Prepare to fight. Oh, they timed Three, in. No, two, in. Uh, time out. One. Fight. Okay. Whatever. Drama. Um, Alec doesn't give a fuck. He's like stood in front of strengths <laughs> with an LG. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, if you're lagging, why would you attack? Havoc's gonna go 9 7. Strengths is gonna Prepare rage. To fight. Oh my god, Three, I can't interview him now, two, dude. One. Fight. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are gonna fight IRL. Oh, strengths. You legend. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, fuck it then. You know, we're all level now. Avex, Avex typing. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Dot, yeah, see? Morse code, your face, motherfucker. He just put a Morse code curse onto strength. Alright, we're even. Avex did get the mega. It's the best solution, really. I mean, it was 9 7. No, strengths would have literally. I don't know what strengths would have done. I think Avec was too eager to get the kill that was like there and then just didn't think about that as a possibility. But here we go. Strengths gets the uh, Mega. Avec got high position for the yellow. Strengths has got um, currently the same armor as Avec. Slightly more health, but he's actually lost uh, his armor advantage. Avec picking up the shards. Very smart here. They're picking LG Fiant. Mm, uh, I don't think that was a good move for Avec. The two yellows are spawning before. Three yellows are spawning before. Um, yeah, before. Mega, one of them that spawn will put Strengths in a better position. Avex trying to get there early, so actually Avex in a better position. What's Strengths doing? Okay, he's just waiting. Okay, I'm not sure about this move from Strengths. We know that Avex loves these kind of positions. And he has won that by far. So even though he came in with a lot less, he's, uh, you know, Avex has not come out on top, certainly, but he is a, a lot closer in health and armor to his opponent. But he needs to work a, a yellow. He's got to watch out here. Bamming LG, um, Avec. He doesn't have any ammo yet. Just picks up some more and he catches the rocket. But only just as he spun away from it. And so we move in to overtime. In the first one. Sturmy denied us the uh, overtime that we could have seen between him and Faz. But this is certainly going overtime. 8-8. Two minutes of overtime to be played. Avec is really not so much on the back foot. He's in good defensive positions. But Strength knows that he can uh, pick up a kill, pick up the win. And whoever's going to lose this is going to be mega angry, by the way. Because, like, I mean, the series, that is. Because, you know, like, these guys would get pissed if they lost to each other. Mega. Goes to Avec. Nice rocket jump up. Took a little bit of damage, but, you know, he lost most of his armor. But as long as he can get one or maybe even two, he's moving into towards center. He's taking away the shards as well, Avec. Oh, he hasn't gone through teleport. He's camping with Avec. Oh, the grenade hits him. And that's going to give away his position. And that could have been a real good move. So, uh, nice from Strength to spam those grenades. Avec waiting for a yellow before the uh, time to go mega. Oh, Strengths, that was a bad move. It's going to be shut down, but comes in again. And Avec was like, no way you're going to do that. And it is going to be Strengths that picks up the kill. And Strengths, such a smart play. There was no way that Avec thought he was going to come in after losing like that much health um, in the first LG fight. But Strengths is like, yep. You turn your back on me. And I'll take every advantage. And exactly what he did. So a brilliant play from Strengths there. And also, it is a mistake from Avec, you know, had he, had he kept his, uh, his eye on um, strengths, he would have uh, got the, um, the kill. So, you know, one teddy frag, one turned back, and a two frag difference as we move in to the final few seconds. And it looks like Avec trying to go for the shotgun blast, hits two, but not going to be enough as strengths takes the second map and forces us into a third. Strengths even says sorry for Teddy Frag. What a nice boy. Pepsi Max. Oh.
Avec Let Him Go from the LG Kill. So, <laughs> so Avec had an LG Kill and he said he let him go. He probably did, right? Because he could have just LG'd him down. Well. Last map. DM6. For all the people watching the game, Sparty on the other side, uh, opposite Avec, is uh, sat down. He was just watching it. Uh, Sturmy looks like uh, he's in a game or warming up. Got 10 spectators in on the server, and however many hundreds of you there are watching. But let's get more. Cypher connects to the server as well. Avec has uh, someone with him. Not sure if that's anybody from Razor or someone else, but he is uh, got someone sat behind him. Don't recognize. Headphones off, but just talking. Can't see strengths on the other side of the Super Street Fighter 4 poster. But I, I don't think he's moving. Oh, he is moving. So it looks like we're good. So I'm going to get these guys. Uh, Ready up. Avec is a genius on DM6, by the way. But Strength is the best aimer and kind of loves this map. So, it's going to be crazy because Strength is going to try and defend Avec's rushes uh, with LG, but Avec will put in like really good attacks and really well timed. More, you know, better timed than Strength would, would most likely do. Strengths is going to try and take the second railgun after Avec just took it. Or didn't take it. I think he did. Yep. Avec. A slight deficit, but he's in position. One rocket connects. Two and three, but not doing much damage. Now it's uh, all about the mega, and Avec does hit the rockets, but I don't think he's... Oh, that was a great railgun shot, and Avec puts one back. Uh, but Strengths will win the uh, Mega, takes away the shards as well, and he'll be moving back around to try and get in position to defend the red arm. And might go to bridge uh, just to stop him coming in high. Oh, he got stuck. He's like, oh, oh, oh. misses the uh, jump out. That was a bit weird for me, wasn't it? Nice first kill with the LG. That's uh, just because I always check his percentages. 38% LG, 50% rail. Uh, Avec, no LG used, yeah, but 50% rail as well. So they've most likely just fired uh, two. Avec, um, he's taken uh, Railgun at the same time as Mega spawning. He's actually, uh, he knew Mega was spawning and he actually went to the top of Rocket Launcher to see if he can catch him. Here's him down by Red. He's going to drop and Avec goes in. Oh, such a good move from Avec. And uh, he actually sees that Red Armor is being delayed there as well. So uh, nice delay there from Strength to uh, put it off time by five seconds to the Mega. Real smart. And uh, Avec is 2 0 down and. We haven't seen a, a very aggressive... Did I just say aggressive? I don't know. Did I? Hmm. Um, a, an aggressive Avec, but he's really got to pick his moments. And he's trying to delay a little bit there because he knows this is going to spawn. At some, you know, like a little bit delayed. He tries it again and gets denied. And he is going to put in these attacks, but he can't do it for too much longer. Um, whoa, Avec hits the better LG. Avec has 63% LG. That was like the first time he used it. Um, but but like, he is going to put in these attacks because that's what he does. He, he get on red and he get on mega at the right time and you got to come through his damage. And even if you kill him and you're left on like low HP, not a lot of health. Easily accessible on DM6. Especially from the red armor side. It takes a while to get around to it. So, we'll have to see. Avec using shotgun. Pushes his way in, but really there's no gain from here. And he hasn't done enough damage. I mean, one shotgun blast could have put him at 70, and then he would have had, he could turn up for this attack like this with an LG. But Strengths, smart, real smart, puts himself in a position to lock him down, shuts down the LG attack. And uh, he could rocket jump up here and get the kill, but he's going to go for the railgun. Misses. Really doesn't affect him, though. He's got the mega. I mean, Avic has literally, if you, has nothing. To work with and he's gonna get frustrated but five frags 
six minutes 50 you know that is it's it's not about the five frags and can he get him back is how many is he going to give away before he gets a kill and if he doesn't give away a frag it's going to take him a long time to get it like he has to like give give a point to get a point um and then uh, hopefully that's that's what he's going to try and do like other players might try and just win a point but it would take him so long to whittle down their opponent that it might never really happen in time so Avec goes in strength hits the shot and that was a very weird camping place and uh, it worked because of it Avec had no idea he was going to be there and that's going to shut him down and look it, it just seems like I'm just going to shoot at you because I want to shoot you rather than I have a plan um, gets a 50 Avec strength 100 200 delayed the uh, red armor perfectly again look at that it's literally five seconds between the mega and red he's so good at this and he delayed it last time as well so and i think even if Avic's like yeah i've got my back to red but another thrown away frag that one it, it, it doesn't matter that frag doesn't delay him i mean and then he doesn't have a time on red so 200 200 right now 48% LG for strengths. Avex still not actually hitting another rail or firing. He still hits at 50%. He's going to go and get himself a rail gun. Strengths waits on the bridge. Rocket launcher primed. Avex comes out. Strengths misses the rail gun shot. Doesn't really hurt. Um, oh, wow. Double, uh, double rail as uh, Strengths puts his eighth on the board as we move into half time. Avex, nice jump over the rocket. And he's done. Finally, finally. It's taken five minutes to put him at the situation. Look, there it is. There's the 60-60. And when you swarm with 125 and 0, you're even. And so Avic can win this one. But he's got to hit a couple more plasma gun shots. And here it comes. He's above him. Strengths knows that he can hit a good um, uh, shotgun. He can get a kill. And Avic can't get the roll gun shot. Strengths played that one nicely. And Avic, it took him, you know, a good five minutes to open up a, a, a door. And, but he's going to rush this. He has to rush Mega. There's no time for anything else. And there we go. Mega's picked up. And he gets the kill. Finally. 10 to 1. Avec has a chance now. Strengths, though. <laughs> His chance is slightly bigger here. As, uh, he will be able to slow down the map. But I don't think he wants to. Uh, well, I, I'm sure he wants to. But I don't think he wants to hide. Uh, you know, he's, he's just trying to collect what he can without taking damage. I mean, Avic hasn't got the red armor and mega synced, um, you know, out of sync so he can get to both. So strength, if he positions himself between the mega and the red, like in mid-level where he is, you know, he could really mess up Avic. And here we go. Oh my god, Avic, you have just given away a mega and a yellow. So he's 200-100 strength, and Avic, you're 100-200. So really, you're even. And if you're playing someone even and you're the guy having to attack, really, you're at a disadvantage. As the railgun goes into Avic. So... He's making it tough for himself here. I'm surprised he gave away that Mega. Oh, Strengths. I mean, Strengths is just biding his time. I, don't, I can't see a 9th frag comeback. The only time we saw this was when Strengths played Cypher. And Cypher had the comeback because Strengths sucked. But Strengths doesn't suck as much anymore. Fact. Rats is quite good. No, he's very good. Oh, nice roll guns from Avec. Opening up a possible frag here. No item spawning for Strength, so really this is where he has to get the kill, and he's got to get it soon. Strength's being sneaky. Avec, yeah, finding someone on DM6 is one of the most painful experiences. There he is. And then they get away. Baiting the Mega. Strengths hasn't made a move for it. He's just hiding. Look at it. He thinks he can get on the red, though. Oh, my God. He ninjas it. And he actually... Um, I think Abbott went... Yeah, he dropped down and went shards. And he's gone yellow, so... Two minutes, 24... Nice LG to Railgun combo for Avic. He's only got one Railgun left, and that's been the weapon that's opened up all the kills. So hopefully if he gets the kill, he's going to be able to use it more. But, you know, Strengths does do that incredible amount of damage. Leaves him on 45 health. Avic gets the red. Eight frags of difference. And, you know, it is possible for someone like Avic. It's just someone you want you know, people expected to see in the finals. There's a delayed spawn. He heard it. And uh, he's going to maybe rocket jump up, but catches him. Oh, and the LG's going to push him away. 
Oh, and there's the railgun. And he did have uh, enough ammo on it. I'm not sure where he got the ammo from. Did he go get another railgun? I don't know. I think he heard a, a plasma gun pick up there. Yeah, he did. And he's uh, a ring around the rosies so far. And Strengths has actually got away uh, to LG. The rocket jump up. I don't think Strengths would have gone yellow, maybe. He's too obvious. But he has gone yellow. Oh, and he jumps into an LG. He thought that Strengths was going to dive. And Strengths is probably just still up there right now. Nope. I, I, I don't know what's going on in this game. I'm old. He, he could have still been up there, in all fairness. And then if they rocket jump up, you LG him. Ta da! Um, but whatever. He's uh, gone lower level. So I just pretend I'm the better. Um, but, you know, he can do what he wants. He's 10 free up. LG, uh, yellow armor was taken. Spots him. Thanks. Goes aggressive. And the rockets aren't good. The first two were nice, but the third one, you know, that really could have been the killer rocket onto Strength, but still, that would have been a, a big frag difference. He knew he was hurt, and he comes in with the rush. He gets himself a railgun off spawn. spawn. He's going to lose out on the Mega and LG, most likely. And uh, that's going to be too much. You know, you can't plow through uh, an LG player unless you go Plasma, and that's what he's going to do. Shoots the ground. That's going to be Avex, surely. Oh, and Strength lives with 21 points of health. And that would have actually been just two parts of the gun. So we'll call it one for the sake of uh, arguing. Let's not argue. 13 to 5. And Strengths is going to topple one of the biggest players here in the Quake Live tournament in terms of uh, results and stature. We're over at 13 to 5. Fanatic Strengths is going to top his group. Are they going to miss out on this win? And I think he's annoyed. And uh, maybe he, oh, I'll check. I'm checking now. Is he going to shake his hand? Is he going to shake his hand? He's walking around. Nope. He's going for. Oh, no. He is walking around. A lot of tables. Mm, no. He just goes and talks to Cypher. <laughs> I hope he doesn't hear me when I commentate. He, I, was, I thought he was walking around to go shake a hand. He's just like, no, he goes, goes and stands next to Cypher, puts a cigarette in his mouth. He's like, let's go smoke. <laughs> no handshake here between Avec and Strengths. I love it. I love it. All right, let's get Strengths over. Pax, can you get me Strengths? Can you get me Strengths? Yeah. Alrighty, I'm still tired. I have so much work to do today. I really don't like my job when I have too much work. I'm not really a worker. I like to tell, I'm good at delegating. See what I did there with Pax in the strength situation? Good delegation. That's what I have. Can I uh, get a chair? Can I just yeah, just throw me your chair quickly. Hey, Strengthy. Um, interesting match. Uh, very eventful. Um, okay, Telefrag. Tell us about the Telefrag. Did, did, did he not shoot you on with LG or what happened? On this Telefrag? Yeah. Uh, I didn't expect to Telefrag first of all because um, before there was a FG, FPS drop and I did uh, alt and and I had lag and um, I, I wasn't full screen anymore so I did pause. Then uh, when we pause the game, I just came to the teleport but he followed me and I Telefrag. And we continue the game, so I'm really sorry about it because I was really lucky at this time. All right. Um, you still beat him, though, quite convincingly on DM6. All LG? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all LG. Cooler, listen to me. DM6 is all LG. Cooler said that to you. Yeah, he said, no, it's not all LG game, but uh, DM6 is all LG game. So you're telling Cooler what it is? Yeah, Cooler, listen to me. DM6 is all LG game. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> All right, um, I want to ask you as well um, a, a little bit about um, what happened. Um, after the game, yeah, you beat Avec. Did you get a handshake? What? Did he shake your hand? Uh, no, not at all. I, I was sure to be qualified because Kirsten lost against Avec and me. So I said, uh, if I'm second, it's okay. I play Avec. He's really good. And uh, no, I was just confident because... Um, oh, I say, I was pessimistic about playing him. So I'm saying myself like... Um, Okay, I'm gonna lose, so no hope. I don't shake my hand. And uh, when I won T9, I said, okay, I have a chance to win him. And that's, that's what happened on GM6. But he didn't shake your hand after the game, right? No. Why, why do you think that is? 
It is because I don't know. I, I would like to come with him to shake his hand, but uh, he went out. Go out. Does he like you? Do you like him? Of course, I like him. But uh, I've heard that Havek is an emotional person when he's losing. So when I see him, he had a, a smoke. He had a cigarette on his mouth. So I guess uh, he's smoking to relax. Maybe I don't know. All right. Okay. Yeah. We won't look. We won't. We won't play on that too much. Uh, I just got to go out of game here, actually, because um, apparently there's a picture that I've got. I'll link you um, that has been linked to me. Um, and we are on IRC live. Um, strength owns. Strength owns. Um, you know, strength. Uh, so uh, I don't know. Um, you know. So we've got spam coming in from the level up channel as uh, strengths can uh, now see. Um, too good light to drama. It is true. Um, uh, and then if I oh god, what have I done to IRC? Okay. Uh, there we go. This is um, this is trance, and he's linked us a a picture, and I got to show it to you. Um, <laughs> Shrinks actually just said lol. Um, so what do you make of this picture? It's uh, four screens. We've got um, match resumes in eight seconds. The next is your serious face. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, a telly frag, eight eight, and then smiley thumbs up. <laughs> it's really funny. Who, who did these pictures? Uh, someone on ES Reality, obviously. Just, uh, if the one, if the person who created this picture listens to me, just, just, I just say, really impressive, really good job, because I'm laughing. It's really nice. A strength approves uh, with the thumbs up. Um, but you know, like, how did what, what did you think that like you were you lost the game then? Did you think before the re, the resume was going to happen, you thought this is it, I'm over two zero? Yeah, I thought I was over because I thought he would shaft me and didn't care about uh, about this. And uh, I can't explain what happened. And uh, I'm saying I'm saying it again. I'm really sorry about him. So you're very happy right now, like you could go out and party or something. I'm 50% happy because I'm not happy for Havoc. I just imagine a reaction about this. It's not fun. It's not fun indeed. Um, so how are you playing? How how are you doing? How are you feeling? Well, you know, how far do you think you can go? I I hope to go far from the top. But uh, from what I've played right now, I'm really confident. So rare, rare from me. <laughs> You're rare to be confident? You're French. You're meant to be confident arrogant. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> really? What? Dude. Okay, really? You feel confident though? That's good. Okay, so with confidence, have you ever felt this confident in a, in a tournament? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So you think you can go far? I hope so. Okay, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, okay, that's... Um, Let's check back with the IRC just to see what the spam is and stuff. Um, okay, let me ask you a question. What do you think of as well? His LG. <laughs> I would like to play him, but he's first, right? Yeah, he's first and you're first. I already play him on IEM Europe. I like play him because um, it's uh, like a challenge between boss, I guess. For me, it is. I don't know if it is for him. But I like LG against him to know, you know it's all LG game. And I like this game when it's all LG. So, <laughs> if you were in charge of Quake Live, would there be any other weapons apart from LG in the game? Yeah, I would agree. But uh, yeah, if Quake Live is only LG, yeah, you, uh, seriously, we need to get. I mean, we were trying to get um, Fox a job with id Software, but now I think you know that's that's such a good you know suggestion. We id Software might just give you a job. To, to create to create their game. Um, all right, awesome. So uh, people are, are loving the pictures, and, and you've been playing like really well. And I'm really impressed with what you've done so far. Uh, people are asking for uh, the pictures. Um, <laughs> all life is LG. Um, uh, yeah, LG life uh, life good, isn't it? It's a, it's a brand. Um, all right, then. So um, I, I guess we got to get into the next matchup soon. And I'm I'm completely running out of uh, momentum here, uh, commentating on stream for a long time. But if you got anything to kind of just like you want to say, you got anything on your chest you want to get off, um, or just any thank yous or or any you know any kind of in your faces that you want to say, because you know. You've always been a, a nice, but controversial, and you know you said some great stuff in the past, dude. You know I'm not going to set you up for something, but um, I'm just saying, you know, anything you want to say to anybody. Um, I'm gonna thanks as already uh, as I say every every time, uh, Fnatic with sponsor or sponsors, and um, big hi to my mother, my father, my brothers, to support me all the time, and uh, thank you to everybody who watch my game and uh, like it. And uh, thank you to some other player who don't like my LG, like say, like saying uh, strength is all LG, all online hero, etc. Thank you to them as well. 
And thank you to you for your interview as well. And uh, Nathan for the win. Well, what was the last bit? Nathan. Oh, oh my God. It's the Misfits thing. Oh, that's Carmack. I don't do shit interviews. I do good interviews. <laughs> thanks, agrees. All right, then. All right, dude. Well, thanks so much for sitting down. And uh, all the thank yous, I'm sure, are uh, appreciated. And yeah, see, look... You they, you even got the Nathan in there. You know, they love Nathan as well. Um, but we like you more. Do you think people liked it that you won or you beat Avec? Do you think it's like they liked seeing Avec lose or you beating him? I don't really know. I I mean, when I'm... Lo- for example, when me, I'm losing Zotac, everybody like it because um, I've, I, I win Zotac a lot of time. And when some, for example, Noctis win me, it's like, Noctis for the win extra. So I guess it's because Avec lose. Because Avec is really, really, really good. So that they like when you're the underdog, you think people like you m- more. I hope so. I don't <laughs> know. I hope so. Well, you're a likable character anyway, Strings. So I- I'm sure it's all good. All right. So um, we're gonna shoot off, and uh, when we come back, we're gonna go into another game. Don't know what it is. It could be a cipher faz matchup, but that was meant to be on the main stage. We'll check back with that later. But this was Strengths from Fnatic, and uh, he has topped his group and he's gone through. Congratulations. Thank you. You too. There we go. He is likable. Yeah, Strength says, of course he's likable, he's adorable. I take you home to meet my mum and stuff, Strength, you're so likable. Yeah, no worries. Teddy Strengths is your new name. Alright, cool. Um, we like Strengths. Yeah, but it's weird, isn't it? Like, some people like seeing Strengths lose. If, you see, if it's like Cooler versus Strengths, you want to see Strengths lose, right? And then if it's like Strengths versus Avet, you want to see him win and stuff like that. So it's all a little bit weird. I don't really know how to judge. I just think people want the worst to happen. Um... All right, so here we go then. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, we're going to be probably taking a break here. I don't have a uh, the next game lined up, but of course, yeah, it is going to be Faz versus Cypher, so... Oh, dear. It should have started 15 minutes ago, but um, yeah. I'm not sure if it's going to be on the main Dream Arena then. So I'm going to take a break from the stream. Uh, you guys will get updates via Trance, and I'll give it to you, and uh, we'll be back a little bit later. And people saying, yeah, I want to see both... Uh, they can strengths. Faz and Cypher, we don't know about yet. Um, it might be on the mainstream, but they were meant to put it out to both streams, but I have to talk to somebody official. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Um, thanks uh, very good. Uh, very good. Thanks very much for listening. It was good. Peace.